Grief is the price of love. This is a quote that I've seen floating around in social media from time to time, normally quoted by people who are in big or deep grief processes. Um, to give some, some comfort, I think, to the, the depth um, of their grief and, and, the, and the process they're in. I wanted to talk about it today because I don't believe, I don't see grief as the price of love. And if you believe that grief is the price of love, there's a risk that you're actually going to overlook grief that you will experience that's not because of love. And without recognizing that grief, um, you can stay stuck in the whole heap of a pain and alone in a pain that doesn't go anywhere. So grief is actually the process. So it's a process and it's a range of emotions that you go through in response to loss of any kind. So it doesn't occur just because you lose someone or something that you've loved. It may be that you've loved someone and they've died um, or a relationship has ended or a friendship has ended and you will experience grief if you have loved that person. But it's also possible to lose um, people in your life and that you, you didn't love or didn't think you loved and experience grief. Just looking down at some notes because I didn't want to miss anything important that I wanted to say today. So I'll give you some examples of where you may experience grief, um, where maybe love wasn't a part of the equation. So you can experience grief when you are fired or made redundant from a job, or maybe even your work was restructured and um, new work you used to enjoy has changed or the people that you work with have changed. You can experience grief when you have to move home, when um, you lose the safety or predictability in your life, when you lose your health or physical ability, or when perhaps some kind of condition or disease you have progresses and you, you lose the ability to do things for yourself or movements that you used to be able to make. Grief can be experienced in response to dementia or memory loss and particularly where if you have a loved one who is experiencing dementia or memory loss, as even though they're still alive and they haven't died, that the person you knew, and they're not the same person anymore, you've lost who that you, you've lost who you knew them to be. Grief can be experienced when you lose your hopes and dreams and plans and opportunities. You lose that potential of, you know, what could have been, what could be. It can be experienced in response to natural disasters or climate change. You can grieve when you, um, you know, when a belief that you've held for a long time is shattered or changed. You can grieve when your identity is lost or changes as a result of a spiritual awakening. And you can grieve when who you thought you knew someone to be um, is also, um, that idea of them is also shattered or changed. Um, maybe it was a lie or some, 
something you didn't know about them was revealed. We can grieve for, um, we can grieve for the parenting that we wished we received, but didn't. And it's also possible to carry or experience grief that's not yours. So if you were born into, um, born into a family that was grieving, where there was unprocessed grief, you can um, pick up and carry the grief of a parent um, or an ancestor in your family system. And when you lose a loved one, um, it's not just a person you grieve. There's the things that are connected, that were connected to that person that you can also lose and grieve, um, such as just the relationship itself and what that gave you, um, the other relationships connected to it, your social status um, and those connections. And so the reason, the reason I wanted to talk to you today about, um, about grief and about that statement that grief is the price of love is because I want you to know that grief is not just the price of love. And the reason being that if you believe that, then it's likely that you will disenfranchise your own grief that arises from you know things that aren't related to love and so disenfranchised grief is um, where your your grief is not considered as relevant um, by society or yourself and it's a burden you carry alone because nobody sees or understands or believes what you're going through is a big deal or why it's even taking you so long to, to get over what you're experiencing. And this makes grief more painful and isolating and can lead you to get also stuck in your grief process alone. So if there's just a few things that you take from this sharing, it's to please remember that grief is about loss, not just love, it's about loss. That grief is a process as well as a range of emotions. As I said, it's not always directly linked to love. You can grieve someone or something that you didn't love. And I mean, grief, grief is a sacred and precious process. And I want to acknowledge that just by talking about grief today, when we talk about grief, it can become quite present with with us, so I just want to send you some love and tenderness and compassion if you are in a grief process and if you're feeling some grief as I'm talking today. And if you need help um, or support, please reach out to someone for some help, um, especially if this has triggered you or if um, you know if you're you're stuck in a big and overwhelming grief process and. Um, you're finding it hard to function in your everyday life. Sending lots of care and blessings to you.